plan comes up on page 27. Much of Holden County is without any land use or zoning regulations. This may have worked well when there was little growth, limited land. Uh, but increasing development pressures are creating potential conflicts. Go back on page 9, you state that population centers in around the city of Holton and Hancock are growing, and the outlying areas aren't. So where is the increasing development pressure? That was, I think it's another good comment. That is a very good look comment. at whether that sentence seems uh, to be uh, contradictory or internally conflicting with other things we've said. Good, good point. Because for, and, and the reason that got in there in the original, the 2006 plan, was because, in fact, there were people moving out uh, away from the cities and what have you, and that looked like the way that things were going to go. But we recognize the fact by the census that the population was moving back towards the populated center. So you're right. And then 14, you also got nearly 45% of the population, 16 years and over, is not in the labor force. So almost half of the population has got another job. So we're not going to be buying land all the country anyway and ruining our access to recreation. <laughs> <laughs> comment, comment on that again. I don't understand what you said. Your report says nearly 45% of the population, 16 years and older, is not in the labor force. Okay. They're not working. Correct. Not earning money. Correct. Not buying land, not taking recreation away from everybody else. Mm -hmm. But there's no but, the census. But the master plan, which we're going to get to in a minute here, but you know where it is. And we've got decreasing government funding. As long as this trend is page 2021, the trend continues. We're going to have less good jobs, which is 25% of the population works for some government entity, according to your page 14. So we're a shrinking community, really. We're going to have less government jobs, with less federal funding, less good jobs. So 61% of the workforce is pretty much everybody else. And those jobs are going to suffer from lack of government jobs. It's just, it's like you're painting this picture that the land use thing, here it is. The master plan encourages the preservation of existing open spaces, minimizing the growth of rural residential sprawl. It's not happening, folks. According to your own document, people are moving back towards town. Now with gas, four bucks a gallon, they're going to move more. We don't need government control over something that's not happening. We don't need a plan for something that is not happening. First of all, first of all, I think that with regards to the employment statistics and the population demographics and stuff, that was gleaned from information from the from the census, which you know those are figures that we didn't dream up. That particular section with regards to the 16-year-olds and the 45%, and then the rest <coughs> of the population equaling, you know, coming up with a 25. That was somewhat confusing, you know, as I was as I was reading that, and I don't know how germane necessarily that might have been to the to the land use plan itself but um, but again this plan not only it, it's not it doesn't stand alone in so much as a, a plan with any teeth this guy has said that is gonna make you direct to have force people to direct where they're going to build or not build it kind of looks at those places between the townships between one township or another and what we were trying to do with the original plan and I think we did was those areas that are contiguous between two townships. We wanted to make sure, and that was from the township input, that this particular piece of land on the edge of Portage Township was not going to be um, uh, uh, foreseen to be used for industrial, where, you know, right across the township line that you were going to have residential. I mean, that was, you know, that was part of that. And it would be used for recreation classes. 